I'm thinking again about my DC load this afternoon and I've put together something to test a theory um, so if I move that out of the way um, I've built this now this is um, a version of Dave Jones from the EV blog his constant current load and uh, it's a simple circuit I showed the schematic in the previous video uh, it's got an LM324 here, uh, quad op amp, although I'm only using two channels. I am doing the whole circuit of Dave Jones's circuit here with using two op amps, although you only really need one. There's 10 10 ohm resistors here, as that shunt resistor on the low side between the uh, source of the MOSFET and ground, uh, so that the uh, LM324 can sense the current across here or the voltage at this point and uh, change the gate accordingly uh, and if you know your resistors in parallel theory 10 10 ohm resistors gives you a 1 ohm resistor I do have the 10k voltage divider in here and like I said I'm using the two op amps although you don't need to and his circuit I think was designed to be uh, powered by 9 volts so that's what I've got here but of course the one thing you'll notice that is missing is the MOSFET itself and uh, here it is I've got it on a heatsink and the idea is that it's not soldered in I can pop it in using this connector here and the heatsink is the wrong way up just to keep everything clear of what's going on and now I can test this MOSFET in this circuit but then I can also swap it out and test some other MOSFETs as well and uh, here we've got the IRF 540N and the IRL Z44N um, so I've got a few different N channel MOSFETs to try in this circuit to see which one performs best. So I've powered up the circuit with a PP3 9 volt battery and I've got the IRF 3205 in the circuit. Um, I'm going to test this power supply here which is set to a fraction over 5 volts and the DVM here is attached between or should, or should I say over the uh, shunt resistor here and because we've got a 1 ohm resistor here uh, if we see 1 amp through the circuit uh, which this power supply should, ex should be fairly accurate we should see 1 volt at this point um, so let me just demo what's going on here and uh, wrong screwdriver of course and we will Increase the voltage on the gate, and we can see we're starting to see some current flowing uh, 110 milliamps there. This is slightly off at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. And we can see half an amp there, these are much more closely aligned now it's probably the accuracy of the power supply rather than the accuracy of my DVM so we can see 539 uh, milliamps going through that circuit and we're reading that across the shunt resistor remember and there's a tiny bit of warmth there in this MOSFET and also you now they're all right but as you can see if I raise that voltage there we go we've just got just shy of an amp so we've got 5 volts 1 amp flowing through this circuit so the circuit seems to be working reasonably well what I'm interested in though, in particular in this experiment, is not the voltage across this shunt resistor, because that makes perfect sense, a 1 ohm resistor, um, the voltage is going to correlate to the 
current going through it, but what I'm really interested in finding out is the voltage at the gate of the MOSFET. Because a few people have commented that I'm going to struggle to get this MOSFET to work well enough in my Arduino based DC load when I'm just using a single 5 volt supply. We're now looking at the voltage on the gate and as I increase the potentiometer we should there start to see oh, 3.9 volts already Ooh, 4 volts and we've only got 200 milliamps for yep yeah, 200 milliamps flowing through this circuit so if I get to 5 volts where do we get to so with 5 volts on the gate of the MOSFET I'm only getting 600, 620 milliamps here flowing through the circuit yeah well that's not good enough but I'm wondering about the other N channel MOSFETs I've got here and seeing which one is going to be better so I've swapped for the IRF 540 and we've now got 3.8 volts on the gate let me just lift that to 5 volts much better 1.6 amps but that's way over my 6 watts so I'll turn that down straight away yeah they're a little bit warm but the MOSFET seems to be handling that heat quite happily uh, now for the IRL Z44N well at 5 volts 1 amp 5 watts we've only got 3.26 volts here on the gate of the MOSFET so this is looking pretty interesting and if I lift that up with 5 volts on the MOSFET we've got over 2 amps there let me just turn that off that way so, so 2.3 amps we saw there briefly far too much for this circuit but uh, oh yeah those resistors are getting quite warm there the MOSFET again not too bad uh, but 2.3 amps at 5 volts so to clarify those results, the IRF3205, which I originally planned to use, is rubbish as a DC load, to be honest. Um, the 540N is a bit better. Uh, we managed to get up to 1.5 amps, sorry about the quality of print out here. But the IRL, IRL Z44N is really good, and in fact I managed to get 2.3 amps. Uh, flowing through the circuit and the MOSFET didn't get too warm either so this is the one I'm going to use moving forward um, I'm not saying it's the most ideal n-channel MOSFET for a DC load it isn't at all but it is the best one that I've got and I am going to rejig everything in here I'm going to put the shunt resistor on the low side of the MOSFET and have the MOSFET on the high side rather than the opposite way round, which I've got at the moment. Uh, the voltage sense at the higher end of this uh, resistor, I'm going to get rid of the voltage divider, which is hidden under there, uh, because this should never go over 5 volts, because I'm certainly not going to get 5 amps out of this circuit, more like 2.5. And, and I am going to continue not using an op amp um, initially to see if this Arduino can act fast enough see if it can monitor that voltage across the shunt resistor adjust the gate voltage accordingly and we'll see how well it works so hopefully you'll join me in my next video um, if you haven't already please subscribe give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time thanks for watching